slow flying, long lasting airplane. Take your rectangle. And give it a banana fold. Fold it in half along the banana line. That again for the other side. Now Give it a little triangle fold. Fold it at the right angle so that it, it folds right on the corner. The other end. To do that, you kind of line it up here, and you kind of have to line it up at both ends at the same time. So don't use a piece of paper that. A rectangle that's longer than you can really reach with both sets of fingers stretched out. Then when you have it like that, you take the top and fold it over about half an inch. For those creases that go down good and tight. And fold that bottom top over again. And again. We're getting some weight so the acceleration force of gravity can be working on our plane. Again. And again. All right. Sure your creases are still good. Now fold that plane in half. Make sure to crease that good. Crease all those creases. Fold it back, crease those creases good, fold it back again, make sure everything is symmetrical, and then you're going to want to unfold it out, it's starting to look a little more like a plane. Now, fold the one wing up for some a still stabilizer here. And remember, you want it to be symmetrical. You want it to be the same on both sides. And here we have, it's not perhaps a very exciting looking airplane, but Proof is in the pudding, as they say. Let's take it out and see how it flies. Now, here we have not the airplane that goes the farthest, but the airplane that has been said to stay in the air the longest. So, we'll see how it does. Well, that wasn't particularly spectacular. Let's try that again. I'm afraid that the initial rectangle I used was too long and it's too top heavy. But let's see what we can do with if I give it some more lift.
Okay, that was, that was downright impressive, but I'm not sure you got a good look at that, so let me change the angle of the camera to get you a better field of view. Okay, here we go again. All right, let's try that again. That was impressive, but out of camera. Let's try and launch from this one. It always does impressive things just as it goes off camera.